And now I am so proud to introduce my favorite governor and forever boss, the Honorable Gina Anna Raimondo.
not a talker. In fact, I, in fact, I think of you not as a politician, but as a doer. And that's a compliment, coming from a politician. He's a uniter, not a divider. He's a pragmatist, not a partisan. Calm, confident, steady leadership, not hysteria. And he's a real successful businessman. He did not grow up with a silver spoon. He grew up like you and I. Middle class family. Busted his tail, worked his way through college, started a business in a one-room office, and is one of the best, if not the best, entrepreneurs and businessmen in a generation. Employing 20,000 people. But you know what? He's made me a better governor. I'm with him because America needs leadership, and he can win in November. But on a personal level, he's my friend. And he's made me a better governor. You know why? I call him a lot for advice. And those of you who are Rhode Islanders know we faced our fair share of challenges here in Rhode Island. And I call him. I say, Mike, how would you handle this? How would you deal with that? You know what he says every single time? What do you think is the right thing to do? What's going to deliver results for Rhode Islanders? What will make the schools better? What will create more jobs? What will help the opioid crisis? In all the times I've called him, he's never said to me, what's the best political decision for you? That is who you want in the White House. <laughs> that you want, I want someone in the White House with that level of integrity and determination and focus and track record on delivering results for people when it matters. That's what we need. I don't know if anyone watched the State of the Union last night. I don't know if you were able to get the whole way through. But we have to get this done. We have to get this done. The Trump administration is turning a blind eye to gun violence. Mike has helped build a movement to take on the NRA and deliver. The Trump administration ignores climate change. Mike's worked with city, states, and businesses to keep our country moving forward toward a clean energy future. offers empty promises about how they're going to bring back old line manufacturing. Mike has a track record of transforming New York City's economy to make it more vibrant and make sure everybody has a job with a good wage in that new economy. So for me, this comes down to who's going to deliver for Rhode Island and who's going to deliver for America. That's what we need to ask ourselves. Now I want to end with a quote from Mike from the 2016 Democratic Convention. When he addressed the convention, he said, over the course of our country's proud history, we faced our share of grave challenges. But we've never retreated in fear. Never. Today, my friends, we face grave challenges in America. We will not retreat in fear. I will not retreat in fear. Mike is not retreating in fear. We have an obligation to do our duty to this country to step up behind a leader who will lead us forward. So today I'm here to ask you to put your faith and your trust and your time and your energy and Mike Bloomberg, because he will be our next president, and he is someone who can lead this country without fear, with confidence and optimism, and restore the American dream. So please join me in welcoming.